So why is it that Sylvester Stallone has other shitty movies where it's not that great, but when it comes to the Rocky movies, he's excellent at acting. It's the everyday color man syndrome. What is up, Humanoid Nation? So, now that I'm back home and not in a random parking lot at West Edmonton Mall from my previous video where I was just rambling on about nothing because I was so distracted about shit going by. So, I went to go see Creed with a friend. If you don't... Oh, my God. I just remembered I bought like a bag of chocolate bars at London Drugs, that way I don't have to buy shit at the concession stand in the feeder. And I bought 16 bucks worth, like fuck, to save some here at home, why not? And I forgot that shit in the taxi cab, or somewhere, I don't know, fuck me, what a day. Oh yeah, and I also bought two bags of chips for like five dollars. It said corn chips, I'm going like sweet, I love corn chips, I just grabbed the shit. Then I went to go somewhere and sit to eat it before the movie starts, before my buddy showed up. Take one bite, it's the nastiest shit ever. I look at the bag, it says white cheddar. I fucking hate cheddar. What a fucking day. Anyways, back to this review, which is going nowhere, just like the other video. So Cree, spoiler alert, Polly's dead in this movie. He dies off screen, because the real actor actually died, me thinks. Yeah, pretty much died. <laughs> I gotta look this up on IMDb. This is going nowhere. This fucking review is going nowhere. Oh, well. So, Michael B. Jordan. Did not recognize him since... I cannot recognize him from the Fantastic Four movie because he's the Human Torch and that Fantastic Move Four movie was shitballs. So, Michael B. Jordan plays a boxer. He's pretty cut in this movie. And he has his forced romantic interest in this movie, The Fry, which Blockbuster Buster has named. I don't know who else has named it, but Blockbuster Buster has said The Fry, forced romantic interest, was his neighbor. I could not get into her because she was fucking annoying the entire time. Something, her, something about her being half deaf, and she's going to get deafer, but fuck, she was just a pain in the ass. Michael B. Jordan does an awesome performance, so much as alone as usual when he does his so rocky shit. You see some stuff from the previous Rocky movies of what happened, like from the reels of Rocky and all that shit. And apparently Rocky's died of cancer, which makes you emotional in certain scenes, because Sylvester Stallone, as an average man, can actually do this shit. I think he, Rocky's probably going to die in probably the Creed 2 or Creed 3 movie, since probably they're going to do more. And basically, Sylvester Stallone is basically the mentor of this movie. And Creed, the son, Adonis, they had to name him Adonis, didn't he? Apollo Creed, Adonis Creed, so why not? Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, Adonis Creed, what a stupid name. But yeah, he's basically the Rocky of this movie, and Rocky's basically the Mickey of this movie. Come on, Rocky, Mickey loves ya. So basically, yeah. He takes on some English prick in this movie. The English prick wins. Oh, Michael Buffer's in this movie. I'd love to be that guy. The guy who says, let's get ready to rumble. That guy gets paid to say that all the time because that guy copyrighted that slang. Not the slang. The wording of it because no one else can say anything about him. So this guy's getting fucking paid a lot of shit. Yeah, Michael Buffer's in this movie as usual, saying his usual thing. Let's get ready to rumble in his specific way. And he gets paid to do it in every pay-per-view appearance that they want him to. That people want him for more. Because he's the man. Well, not really the man, but... You can't really say those words without him. Because he'll sue you. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, Sylvester Stallone is basically the Mickey of this movie. So eventually he's bound to die sooner or later. Because he got cancer and shit. So, for future sequels... So Master Stallone, pretty much dead. I mean, Rocky's pretty much dead. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, this review is just going nowhere.
<laughs> oh god, I'm so fucking tired. Anyways, take it easy, Human Nation. Go check out Green. It's worse. Bye.